Today, I've got a smart start with my yummy baked chicken drummies. These juicy chicken legs are coated in an aromatic lemon spice rub loaded with ginger, garlic, and garam masala for an Indian flair. All right, so the juice of a lemon goes in there. And to that, I wanna add some uh, canola or vegetable oil. It's not gonna impart any flavor and really cook for a long time without smoking out on you. Now to that, gonna add some brown sugar to the game. It's gonna go great with the dark meat of those chicken drummies. And then uh, some turmeric, find this a lot in mustard, Middle Eastern cooking as well. It's got this smoky kind of bite to it, a little bitter. And then smoky paprika. You could do Hungarian hot paprika too. But I really like the smoke factor there. Some ground ginger, you can go fresh if you like but I'm doing a whole ground rub situation here, so I don't mind doing it all ground up. And then some garam masala, that mixture of all kinds of craziness. You gotta smell this stuff. It's gonna smell so great to perfume your kitchen. All right, so now to that, I'm gonna add some salt. Where's my pepper? And then just garlic is left. And this is how we make my yummy chicken drummies a nice little tilt so it all comes down to one side. This is all just about not washing a lot of dishes here, okay? <laughs> They're gonna bake in this same dish, so why not mix up our yummy marinade slash rub in the same dish as well? All right, let me get my chicken drummies into the mix. Here I am talking about not doing dishes. <laughs> When I used to have dogs, that was the best thing about cooking. If you drop something on the floor, they just come and vacuum it up. Now I've got cats, they're very finicky. They're like, huh? No thanks. We'll have our mix of meow stuff. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and rub these drummies down here. Get them all some uh, surface contact with this yummy mixture. You can easily do this night before, a couple of nights before, and leave it in the refrigerator. And uh, you know, right before they come over, Sit it out on the countertop so your chicken becomes room temperature so you can cook it all evenly throughout. And then uh, pop it in the oven. So aluminum foil right over the top. Into my oven goes the chicken. 350. Remember my onions? Two of them I sliced up nice and thin. And I went ahead and put some butter in there so they can caramelize. It's very slow and low activity like you're making barbecued chicken. And that's what it's gonna take to get it nice and sweet. Now to that, add some sweetness of some raisins. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some rum, turn off the heat, and hit it with a splash. Oh, look at that. Gonna cover these babies up with our onions we worked on here. So just what I like to do is try to make sure it gets on to the actual meat part, not the bone. It always tastes better when you're eating with your hands, if you ask me. All right, so that's it. I've got it all completely covered up. I'm gonna get this back into my oven, turn it up to 400 degrees so I can get nice and crispy and caramelized on the top. Only 10 more minutes to go. This is gonna be so good. Look at that. And remember, we didn't even have to marinate. That's what I really like about this. Just put it right there on the back counter and it was good to go.